Good morning. Good morning. It's really early. It's later than it's supposed to be. It's later than it's supposed to be, but it's isn't really Isn't that early. the story of everything? That's like everything. It's like 6 a.m. or 6.15 or 6.30 or something. I don't know. About 6.30. Um, and we are leaving. <laughs> uh, Grado and I are going camping mm -hmm. a bunch. Uh, and I don't think we'll have much internet. I don't know if we'll have any internet. So, we will see you guys later. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And, uh, yeah. Don't miss us too much. No. You'll be in good hands. Tithia will be here. Toys. He, loves it. he loves his toy now. Yeah. yeah. He actually brings oh, it. I love that he loves stuff. his toy. <laughs> oh, look at your toy. So Corey is actually also leaving. But look you'll be in the vlog a bunch more. Look at your toy. <laughs> I've got a toy. <laughs> An owl. Hey, I miss you. So he's being taken care of by Mary and Rihanna. Yeah. So we bring Mary in and she immediately got a bunch of jobs. Right it's like, Mary, away. move in. We're leaving. Took him for a walk at 5 a.m. He was pretty confused. Yeah. He woke up before it got late. Yeah. And I got out of bed before he did. Oh, he was out God. He'll probably go back to sleep when we leave. Everybody else is not going to be awake until later. All right. Let's go. Kay. Let's party. What are we doing? We've got pizza, but no work. We were doing work, and now we're eating, because we need to fuel our minds. <laughs> yes, we've been working while everybody is out abroad, and we decided that we were starving, because that's what? It's two? It's two... two something? I haven't really eaten today, and I don't think, Mary, have you eaten? I had some toast. <laughs> I, I haven't eaten really. I had a little bit of Tim Hortons, but that was about it, and that was ages ago. So now we're having pizza. Mmm, mm, pizza. Okay, so I just landed in Vancouver, a uh, five hour flight, and I guess while I was in the air, Charles Trippy's vlog went live, his daily vlog for today, uh, of yesterday. And in it, uh, he challenges me to do an ice bucket challenge, and a bunch of people are tweeting me about it. So I looked it up very quickly, and I guess YouTubers, or people in general, are dumping ice on their bodies, cold, icy water, uh, to raise awareness and or money um, for a really great cause. I don't have all the details, I'm gonna get all the details, um, but I have 24 hours from, I guess I just found out like five minutes ago, uh, to do it. So I'm gonna try to find a Canadian bathing suit, which is perfect, because I'm in an airport in Canada, and so there's Canadian stuff everywhere, so hopefully we can find, hello, hopefully we can find uh, something here. Okay, I think the best we can do is one of these two uh, puppies. So we've got some Canadian boxers, and those ones are pretty long, and those ones are pretty short, and I thought I would vlog and ask you what you think I should get, but two things. One, the vlog's not going up until tomorrow, and two, I know you're all gonna say that one. Um, on top of which is actually cheaper, so I might as well get it. Hi! I know the lighting in my room is atrocious, but Tripio is upstairs sleeping, and Mary is working in the office right now, so this is like the only place where we can chat. I know this isn't like breaking news or anything, but I've been thinking a lot lately about Michael Brown. Last Saturday, uh, Michael Brown was shot in St. Louis, Missouri. Uh, in a township called Ferguson. He was 18 years old. Uh, he was unarmed. I guess I should specify that he was shot by a policeman uh, multiple times, unprovoked. And they left his body in the street hours after his death. And it sparked the debate about uh, racism in the justice system in America um, because Michael Brown was black. And he is one of many, many cases of black people being shot by police force unprovoked or unarmed. And so for the past few days I've been trying my best to stay on top of what is happening in Ferguson. There were people who were like live tweeting and like putting up videos hourly and live streaming things that were going on in Ferguson. After Michael Brown's death, the African American community in Ferguson started um, protesting peacefully, saying that they wanted change in the justice system. The police were treating these protests like full-fledged riots and they were throwing tear gas at 
the protesters and then eventually just started throwing tear gas at ev everyone. Just they would go into residential areas where people were standing around and throw tear gas at them. And I don't want to sensationalize, but I like watched a live stream of it happening. It really shook me up because like people there don't feel safe. And some of the people whose documentation I was following ended up getting arrested for no apparent reason. It's a really messy and awful situation, but I feel like it's really necessary. I cannot imagine what Michael Brown's family is going through right now. In these types of situations, you're never supposed to be like, oh, it could have been your son. But the descriptions of Michael Brown just reminded me a lot of my baby brother. And I kept thinking about what it would be like to lose him. Or even just to like be someone who was afraid of what might happen to my brothers. Like regardless of the choices they make in life. To be scared to raise kids or like have my kids go off and live somewhere else because I didn't know what was going to happen to them. And then I read posts by my friends who are black who are just exhausted of being like scared for their own lives or like tired of having to defend like their frustrations or like the reasons that they feel insecure, unsafe. And it, it just, it just really hurts. It doesn't hurt my feelings, but it like hurts my heart to watch people going through that and not be able to do anything and not even knowing if I'm helping or if I'm part of the problems. And I watch these people going through this experience in Ferguson and I, I, I fear for their lives and I feel scared for them and I hope that they'll be okay and then I I remember this is just like an isolated event for me when there are people who feel that way every day and are scared for like their livelihoods or their jobs or their education all the time because of racism. It is okay if you do have a different viewpoint of what's going on in Ferguson, but I do think that it is really really important that we realize that racism is a very very palpable power in North America still and around the world and if you're still feeling really confused about how to feel about Ferguson because I know I am just go talk to someone who has had the same life experiences as the people who are protesting in Ferguson I assure you that you know someone who has had to deal with racism whether in their job or their education or like fearing for their life. I am still really emotional about what's going on but there are positive ways to deal with that. I know that earlier in the week you could donate to a food drive for um, the kids of Ferguson because their school shut down during all these protests and um, that's where a lot of them get their food during the day. But I do know that you can also donate to Michael Brown's family. They're obviously trying to fight for their justice and that can be expensive when you get lawyers involved and stuff. So. Um, I can put a link to that in the description. But thank you for letting me talk about it. I definitely feel a lot better now. Probably get a lot more sleep tonight than I have been. Um, I hope you have a good night. Give me daily vlogs. I want them in my subscription box. I wonder who might drop by. Even though sometimes it's Canada outside So don't go away, we're here every day It's not Apprentice A, it's Apprentice A Hey! Hey!